Hi, and welcome back to Hook Eat Up. Today, I'm going to make a dish that takes me back to my childhood and reminds me of all the special occasions for Haitian events. It's Duri Akujojo, which is Haitian black rice in a black mushroom broth. Now, making this dish used to be really difficult because you had to source the black mushrooms. But with the advent of a bouillon cube that now has the black mushroom broth, you can make this whenever you'd like. The ingredients in the dish are fairly complex and it's going to be hard for you to source them all. So to make it a little easier for you, if you're a subscriber to my channel, I'll get you some of these flavored bouillon cubes. Just subscribe, comment below, and shoot me a message letting me know that you need these cubes and I'll mail them out to you. You're also going to need two cups of rice. I'm using jasmine scented rice just to add a little flavor to the dish. I also put a scotch bonnet pepper in there because I ran out of dishes. So I'm just going to have that off to the side. You're also going to need one third cup dried shrimp, one third cup dried gingembre mushrooms. Again, pretty much guarantee you're not going to find these, but if you go with the bouillon cubes, you'll be just fine. You're going to need one tablespoon of the piece spice blend. If you don't have that recipe for that, you go back to one of my other videos and you'll see it. Very easy to make. You're also going to need a half cup of roasted cashews. Salted, unsalted, your choice. One half cup fresh frozen peas and one chicken bouillon cube. To get started on this dish, the first thing I'm going to need to do is prepare my Jean Jean black mushroom broth. To do that, I'm going to use two bouillon cubes and also my dried mushrooms, putting them into four cups of water and letting that boil for a bit. So I got my four cups of water on high heat. I'm going to grab two bouillon cubes and drop that right into the boiling water. You're going to want to crumble these up so they dissolve well. So the next thing to go in are the dried mushrooms. Once the broth has been boiling for about 15 minutes or so, we're going to strain out the remaining mushrooms and add the broth to the measuring cup. There's two cups remaining and we need a total of four cups to make the rice. Now that the broth is all set, we're going to get started on the base for the rice. The first thing I'm going to do is add about a tablespoon of olive oil. Then I'm going to add a tablespoon of the epice and have that saute for about a minute. Remember there's a lot of garlic in the epice and you don't want to burn that garlic out so you just want to slightly brown it no longer than a minute. The next thing that's going in is half a cup of frozen peas. Then the one third cup dried shrimp. And then half a cup of the cashews. Gonna stir that up, let that go for another minute. The next thing that's gonna go in is your mushroom broth. Then we're gonna add another two cups of water. And to ensure that we get rich black rice, I'm adding one more Jean Jean bouillon cube to the mix. We're gonna want that all to heat up and come to a boil. Once set a rolling boil, we're gonna add the two cups of rice. Give it a stir. Then we're adding the scotch bonnet pepper. Now the thing with the scotch bonnet pepper that you want to make sure of is that you don't stir this later on because if you break that pepper, your entire dish is going to taste like fire. We're going to let the entire broth and rice mix boil down until it almost looks like lava and the water is dried out. At this point, I'm going to cover it. And set it on low heat on the back burner for about 15 to 20 minutes, letting the rice steam out. So as I was making Haitian black rice, I decided that I wanted to have some seafood to go along with it. So for this dish, I decided to go with shrimp in a guosel sauce, which is like a butter creole sauce, but it doesn't have the tomato paste. It presents yellow, presents really nicely, and I'm gonna show you how to make it. So the ingredients that you're gonna need for this shrimp guosel are one pound of shrimp, one stick of butter, scotch bonnet pepper sauce, one half red bell pepper, diced. One half sweet onion, also diced. 
two tablespoons of a piece, one chicken bouillon cube, and half a lime. So the first thing I'm gonna do is season the shrimp. We're gonna be adding the piece to the shrimp, giving it a good stir, just so it can take on some of the flavor. We're gonna add about half of the piece, and the other half we're gonna set off to the side. Just give that a good stir. And then I'm gonna put the shrimps over to the side here. So the very next step is for me to start preparing the grocelle sauce which translates directly to big salt. For anybody out there who wants to correct me, please feel free to do so because I'm like the fakest Haitian out. Um, and to do that, we're gonna need large saucepan. We're gonna set that to high heat. So into the pan, we're gonna add half a stick of butter, let that melt down. Just a touch of olive oil. Be a piece. We're gonna sprinkle in about half of a bouillon cube of Maggie. And this is gonna stir that once again, brown in the piece. I'm gonna let that saute for about a minute just so it starts to brown. I'm gonna follow that up with the onions, the pepper. Give that a quick stir. And I'm gonna take it off the heat for just a second so I don't overdo my piece. I'm gonna let this go for about a minute longer. I'm just gonna add about one tablespoon of water. Now that I have all my seasons sauteing, I'm gonna add the shrimp. Remember with shrimp, you don't wanna overcook it. So this part is gonna take about three to five minutes, max. I'm adding the shrimp all in. Now the shrimp is gonna give off some water. But I'm also going to add about four ounces of water, which is half a cup. Then I'm gonna cover it and let that cook down on medium heat for about three minutes and I'll check back in. So at the three minute mark, I'm gonna check it to make sure that all the trip is cooking through and is in the sauce. I'm gonna hit it with some pepper. Then about a tablespoon of the scotch bonnet pepper sauce. I like my food pretty spicy. If you don't, use less. I'm gonna stir that up so it's not just concentrated in one area. Now you see the strip is starting to curl. We're almost at done. Squeeze in half that lime, and then finish with the remaining butter. Mm, let that melt down, and you, my friend, are done. Just let this butter melt out. You can use a little salt. Sprinkle that in there. So in just about five to eight minutes, you can prepare your entire shrimp grosselle dish. Okay, so to plate this dish, I'm gonna need one small round bowl. And since it's a saucy dish, I'm using an expanded bowl so that spreads out a bit. That way we keep the sauce dead in the center and it's not running all over your plate. I'm gonna grab my rice. Oh, yeah. Give that a quick toss. Add that to the bowl, the tiny bowl that is. Just cashews in here, peas, 
the works, everything is in. Okay? Then I'm gonna grab my spoon and I'm gonna pack this down. Okay? That way it holds when I transfer it to the bowl. Grab this bowl, put my rice dead center, flip it, tap it so it comes clean. Now in the center of your bowl, I have my dome of rice. Next, I'm gonna grab my shrimp. First, I'm just gonna place my shrimp around the plate. And then I'm gonna backfill in some of the Guacel sauce. That way I get the peppers and the color in, get the flavor down. There's enough sauce for that rice. Now for a final garnish, taking some fresh parsley, finely chopping it. Again, just adding just a touch of color. And there's your final plate. It's a dome of black rice right at the center, shrimp around the edges, back filling in with the Guacel sauce, and sprinkling parsley over the top. It's almost ready, and of course, I'm gonna need my drink to go with this. I'm going with Heineken, which is a nice lager beer. Crisp, lighter, it's not too heavy, but it packs some flavor. So thank you for joining me on this trip back to my childhood. If you want to try this dish at home, make sure that you're subscribed to my channel, comment below if you need the bouillon cubes, and shoot me a message with the address and I'll get it out to you. Let me remind you, if you live outside of the United States, I'm most likely not going to send it, but I'll do my best to get it to you. Thank you for joining me at Hook Eat Up.